Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you the brand new official Ben 10 Season 3 theme song and introduction. If you are new around here, make sure to smash that subscribe button and also turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my new videos that are going to come out every single day from now on. Sorry I didn't upload guys, but today I am uploading 30 likes and I will upload upload another video even tonight so yeah also go in the description below and subscribe to the person i got this video from thank you so much to him you are an absolute legend and yeah let's get right into this video Alright guys, so right now I've got some screenshots ready for you and we're gonna take a look at them and analyze every single alien and every single bit about this intro which is actually pretty cool. Now first we have this picture right here and this is of Ben with his new Omnitrix. Now we do not know what this new Omnitrix is called because in season 1 the Omnitrix was just called the Omnitrix. In season 2, we called it the Omni Enhanced Omnitrix. But this one, we don't really know if it has any special powers yet. So, that's why we don't know what it does and how to name it. But I'm sure I'm going to make a name for it in a few days or a few weeks. But anyway, next we have the first alien for the intro. And it is Forearms. Now, Forearms is one of the original aliens in the reboot, in the original series. So, I absolutely love him. He's one of my favorites, all-time favorites um so yeah but we don't really know if he has omni has capabilities because in season two he did but they apparently reset the Omnitrix or something in the ending for season two the five part eight ending i watched all of it and it was good but it wasn't good enough but it was amazing i'm i'm just gonna say that but we don't really know if he has omni enhanced dna anymore and the Omni has features. Now we have the second alien, and it's still an OG alien, and it is Heat Blast. Heat Blast is a great alien. I absolutely love him. He may be actually one of my fav my second favorites, because my first favorite is coming up next. Uh, so yeah, and my favorite alien, if you guys didn't know and you're a big fan, it is Accelerate. Now some people call it Accelerate, but some people the correct pronunciation is XL R8, um, which is actually pretty cool. Um, so he's going to be back in the show. He's absolutely amazing and he's one of my favorites because he can also fight and turn people in a tornado. I mean, not turn them into a tornado. He could put them into in a tornado and create one. And he can also run away really fast, which is actually a pretty cool feature for an alien. Next, we have um, a diamond head, which... Yes, he's one of the, you know, original aliens. He is one of the best aliens because he also defeated Vilgax. If you guys remember in Alien Force, I think it was season 2 ending, um, he defeated Vilgax with just Diamond Head. So it was pretty cool. And next we have still an original alien. And after this, it will come a big alien. But we have Cannonball. Cannonball is one of the originals. I, I absolutely love Cannonball, but I just feel like he is underrated and um, just when Ben uses him, he kicks butt, but he never just goes like, I'm going to turn into Cannonball to win this fight. So that's why I don't really like uh, when Ben uses him in the show, but yeah. Next, we have an alien and uh, there's also some explanation linked to this guy. It is Shock Rock. Now... At the end of the Intervention five part episodes in in uh, the reboot, we didn't really get an explanation if Shock Rock was still in the Omnitrix or his DNA was erased from the Omnitrix or something. But um, he is still in the show and in the Omnitrix because he's in the the, um, the intro for the show. And this is the official one, by the way. This is not a fake one made by me or anything. This is a, a real one from Cartoon Network. Thank you to Robin10 again for this um, intro. But um, I thought he would be removed. Not because 
Um, it, it would make sense for science and the Omnitrix for his DNA to be removed just because you'll kind of be like awkward for Ben to turn into him after he literally tried to open a portal and let his whole Fulmanite army through and kill everyone basically. Uh, but just because you'll be awkward, so yeah. Next, we have a big alien, a huge alien for this season, and it is Slap. Back now, the name originates from Gwen. If you are, if you saw the sneak peek, the sneak peek that is actually from uh, Robin's channel. So thank you so much to him as well. Check out his channel and see the sneak peek. Um, but yeah, this is slap back the second alien. We actually saw this um in a leaked. I mean, was it really leaked? Maybe it was kind of leaked by Cartoon Network in the. Um, up next is Ben 10 and they put a clip of him turning into this alien um, So yeah, but we also have his powers So before we didn't know if he was super strong or super fast or something But his power is this So we see him getting like thrown at the screen and then turning into twos for the intro of the show And kind of like revealing his powers But um, this is his powers And his powers are to literally clone himself into more people so it's not more people more of him um it's not just two he could probably turn into a hundred of him and um yeah but I, I don't really like it because this power has already been showcased with echo echo ditto i think it was uh there were there were there were definitely more aliens that had this power but i just can't remember them um but yeah this is his power hopefully the man of action added more powers to this guy just other than just cloning himself because it would just be boring uh but yeah cool alien next up we have someone that i'm really excited about and it is raf guys i absolutely love raf when ben turned into raf in alien force and ultimate alien the atmosphere would just change and you I just got goosebumps, goosebumps when he turned into Wrath because I absolutely love him. And we see, um, we also get a showcase of his powers in the um, intro. Uh, because he gets angry and screams and then breaks like in half the eight. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, if you remember like a last year maybe in season two dr animal turned into raf and kind of so showcased him but i don't know if that was a proper um marketing technique i think it would have been better if they just put him in season three and that's it because we would have been more uh i guess excited but i mean season three is already amazing because the next alien you guys will never believe it's you mungasaur and if you look at that he is amazing we also get a showcase of his power like he could turn um bigger i think at one point in alien force or ultimate alien a alien force he turned into a size almost as big as way big and that is pretty amazing because way big is absolutely huge humongous or is one of my favorites he also has this um kind of like rock on his tail which guts gets bigger and there's also some kind of like air um trying to show off his powers but yeah next up we have the last alien and it is stingfly stingfly not i'm not the biggest fan of stingfly this year um just because i don't know i just i just don't like him omni enhanced stingfly was all right but yeah guys don't forget to tell me in the comments below everything you liked about this intro and what you are excited for i am back for good i am uploading every single day two videos a day probably so yeah Thank you so much for watching and see ya.